Bonjour Genie Engineers, welcome to my problem a day series. In this video, we're going to calculate the specific gravity. Now, if you're here for the first time and you just want to learn about engineering or just how to engineer a better life, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on future videos. Now, let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. So we have given the mass 318 kilograms, then we have the dry mass which is 204 kilograms. Total volume is given as 0 0.193 cubic meters and we need to find the specific gravity. So again, the first thing we're going to do is write the equation for the specific gravity. So going to the manual and then I see it right here. So I have the weight of the solid divided by the weight did I get that right? Yes. Divided by the volume of the solid times the unit weight of the water. So here, this is a little bit tricky because the weight of the solid, we don't, we're, it wasn't given to us. But what we do have is we have the, um, the mass was given. So from there, we can actually get our weight. So let's do that. So I have, so... You guys, uh, as you know, this is a, uh, uh, we covered it earlier, so we said the unit mass is equal to the mass times G, right? So we're going to do 204 times 9.81. This is kilograms, this is meters per second squared, so your answer should be newtons, and that will give you an answer of 2001.24 newtons. Okay, so now we have this. I have the unit weight of water. We said it's 9,810 newtons per cubic meters. Now I just need to find the solid, uh, the volume of the solid. Now, again, I was giving the total volume. So let's write that uh, equation. So we have the volume of the void plus the volume of the solid, and this is equal to 0 0.193 cubic meters. Uh, let me create some more space in here. Okay, so once we determine, we write that equation, now what we need to do is we need to find the volume of the void so that we can calculate the solid of the volume or the volume of the solid. Okay, so what we can do here is actually, so if you guys remember this equation, so if we take the density equation, which equals to the mass over volume, then we can rearrange it. So we have volume is equal to mass over density, correct? Now this void volume we can have, and this is can it can be our void mass. And as we said, void mass is just really uh, the mass of the water because it's just the water, the air, we usually neglect it. And then here I have the density of the water. So if we can just find the mass of the water, we can actually determine the void uh, volume. And then from there, we can calculate our uh, volume of the solid. Okay, so the mass of the water. So we were giving the total mass, which is 318. And then we were giving the dry mass, which is 204. So if you take... Uh, the subtraction of those two that should give you the mass of just the water itself so let me write it down here so I have 318 minus 204 and this is kilograms and I divide that by the density of water which is 1000 uh, kilograms per Meter, cubic meters because volume uh, mass divided by volume okay so in here so the answer you should get is 0 0.114 cubic meters see kilograms here cancel so you're left with cubic meters so that's your answer for the void volume once you find that answer then you can just come back to this equation and just plug in the V volume. So let's rearrange this equation first. So we have the solid of the volume is equal to 0.193, which is the total volume, minus, because we bring this to the other side, the volume of the void, which is 
point one. Sorry, hold on. Let me wait to write that down. But one one four cubic meters. There it goes, and this is point. And this should give you an answer minus. So you should get an answer of point zero seven nine cubic meters. Okay, so once you find this, now we can just go back to our first equation and just plug in all the, the variables that we just determined. So I have 2001.24 newtons, and then we're going to divide that by the uh, 0 0.079 meters cubed times my uh, unit water which we said the unit weight of water is 9,810 newtons per meter cubic meters. Notice here I used the 9,810 and not 9.81 because here I have newtons, so I want to keep my units consistent. Okay, so once you, um, then we can just cancel this with this, then you get meters cubed uh, on, the, on the top, then that cancels with this, and then eventually you get a dimensionless, um, unitless uh, answer, which is good because that's what specific gravity is. Okay, so once you, if you plug in that in your calculator, you should get an answer of 2.6. That should be your answer. Okay, guys, so I will be posting more problems on the future on this topic because on my FE exam, I got a lot of questions on phase relationships and I want to make sure you are guys ready for it. Now, make sure you do the problems with me as you go because the best way to learn something is by doing it. You should also try to attempt the problem before you actually check out my solution and uh, that way you can practice as many problems as you can. Now, remember, a problem a day keeps the F away. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like subscribe and make sure you share with your friends who might find it helpful thank you guys for watching and i will see you soon à la prochaine oh yeah,